Tara here. We're getting ready to do another scrap lift crafter noon. I'm hanging out with the girls. Um, we had a beautiful layout from Pink Crafty Mama to scrap lift this time, and I have chosen a picture of my oldest daughter after graduation in 2015. Some color study Vicky Booten paper, um, some really old stamps. I've already mounted these stars on. Um, clear blocks and some thickers that I think I'll use celebrate as my title. So let's see what I do So here I am going to add some adhesive to the back of this paper I'm going to put it on there a little crooked and just kind of line up some of that sunburst With the corner I'm gonna hand cut it with scissors As You can see I'm not doing a very precise job. I'm just kind of doing it quickly I will save every bit of this extra paper. I can see some stars or hearts cut out with this paper to use in an, a future layout. That's kind of awesome. Look at the beautiful colors on the back of that paper. It is so pretty. And I'm using the other side for this layout. Take it off of the paper. Um, I'm going to cut off the bottom and put it back on. I'm just gonna kind of wing it with trim with my trimmer and just put it on there just a little bit just kind of get it sort of exactly where I want it and then at the end I just kind of pull lightly and I have a little sunburst to put on the corner of my page it's not too hard to do um, I was really wanting that sunburst to be lower but it wasn't quite big enough um, but I make it work I uh, here I'm thinking about adding some more pieces but then I decide that it's way too much work um, so I just do that and I'm going to put my photo on the back of this paper on the opposite side of this paper there are some really cute butterflies that I have already fussy cut a couple out um, and I just am matting my photo here with purple in our home school, we put a color per child. Purple happened to be Courtney's color. That meant her pens, her notebooks, her folders, the little bins that we kept her books in, those were all purple. We tried to even do that with regular stuff too, but it was always hard to find purple toothbrushes and stuff like that. But it was just one of those weird quirks that we did as homeschoolers. Here, I'm gonna put um, some butterflies I showed you the side, other side of that purple there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut these couple of these butterflies out. I'd already fussy cut one off screen just to make sure I could do it pretty quickly on screen, so it wasn't really hard to do. And it's just really fast, they're not precise. They're actually really cute little butterflies. I like those quite a bit. What a great way to um, have embellishments on your page by using your pattern paper to create them. It's a little bit cheaper with the price of embellishments going up so much.
I'm going to start the stamping process. I've chosen a Pink Fresh Studio ink pad that I bought and um, some really old doodly looking um, stars. No idea what company made these. I don't know where they came from. I've had them probably for 10 or 11 years. I used to use them a lot more often, but I really have stopped stamping so much on my layouts unless I'm just using words. So I feel like I'm really out of my comfort zone here. I'm going to add these just kind of random stamps in this light gray around my photo. I move my photo around a little bit as I'm placing. Um, my photo may end up overlapping a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I chose light gray instead of black because I didn't want the stars to overpower the photo. Um, I'm already using some really bright colors in the pattern paper, so I just kind of wanted to give you the idea of the stamping. Um, I had really wanted to use like You Are a Star title or something like that, but I didn't have anything pre-cut. Um, didn't have anything in Silhouette Studio along that lines. I sat and looked for about half an hour trying to see if I had that, and I didn't. So that's why I ended up using the Thickers um, title that you'll see at the end. Here I'm going to put some foam dots on the back of the butterflies that I have fussy cut. I really enjoy fussy cutting butterflies for a page like this and bending up the wings a little bit and adding the foam dots on the back. It just adds some nice depth to the page, makes it really pretty. going to add my title. This is a very fast title, very fast layout for me. Um, Thickers makes it really fast to do that and I really appreciate all the, the choices that they give us. Back in and I added some journaling. Um, didn't really do a whole lot else with it. I just kind of left it as it is, let those papers speak for themselves. Um, the stamping is out of my comfort zone. I don't usually stamp directly on a layout. Um, I figured since these were some doodly flourishy stars that if they didn't stamp perfectly, it would be all right. So I'll put the completed layout at the end. And thank you for joining me today on my channel. Have a great Sunday.